Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our JavaScript series. So far, what we have seen that uh, we have seen what do you mean by promise.all, we have seen what do you mean by promise.all settled. And today we are going to talk about what do you mean by promise.race. So this is very simple. For example, two promises are running in the parallel and uh, which one is taking more time. So here in the diagram, you can see that if you see in the x axis t1 t2 which is representing a time and it's taking more time because it's completing actually over here before that the promise number two is rejected and uh, promise number one is getting fulfilled in 10 seconds and let's see promise number two got rejected within uh, eight seconds or let's see seven seconds so which one is winning the race here the second promise is winning the race so when you apply promise dot race with promise one and promise two in this particular array, it will give the iteratable object, which is winning the race actually. So in this case, the rejected one is, or promise number two will be returned over here because this is returning the error. So that's why we are getting error here, right? So which one is winning the race? That one will be used here after dot race. Okay, tomorrow, if you have 10 promises are there, it doesn't matter that which one got uh, fulfilled or which one got rejected, which one is are uh, running it immediately or running it first or completed first or winning the race that particular promise will be returned by the race same thing here in this example if you see here that the first promise is taking less time but the second promise is taking more time but the second promise is rejected so when you apply promise dot race over here with promise one and promise two so which one will be returned back so promise one will be returned back which is actually fulfilled over here so I hope this is clear, pretty simple. So what exactly we are going to use it here? I have created uh, two functions here. One function that returns a resolve promise. You can say that it's resolving the promise and the second function is uh, rejecting the promise. It means, it means it's not fulfilling it. But the first function is taking, let's see, around 1000 of second, like 1000 milliseconds actually, which is, uh, uh, you know, to resolve this particular promise. But second one, the rejection promise is taking only around 500 milliseconds. So when I apply the promise dot race, which one will be returned? It will return the reject promise, right? So let's see how to do this. So what exactly I'm going to do that here? I'm just simple write that a promise dot race function here, right? And the concept will remain same in this particular race function. We have to supply the in the form of array. We have to supply. We have to call both the functions here. So the first function that we are calling is which is a resolve promise. Let's see here like this and then the second one that i'm going to write it that okay reject the promise so tell me out of uh, these two which one will be running first here and then after that i'm going to apply dot uh, then here if which one is coming first so in this case it's clearly visible that the second one will be given to here why because uh, it's taking only 500 milliseconds so then in that case if i'm saying that if uh, then and then i'm going to store it in the particular result a variable and then from the result variable that I can just simple say here that console dot log I simple write that okay in double quote whatever the result that I'm capturing I'm just capturing in this particular variable with the uh, result over here right but let's see if we are getting the rejected promise then in that case that I'm going to use it in the catch here right so let's write one catch handler here and then I'm going to store it inside the specific error variable and uh, let's use it like this and then i'm writing a simple console.log and the error is what the error is whatever the error that you are getting it over here perfect so what will happen in that case when i run this program so let's quickly run it and let's see which promise is getting coming first okay so let's go to the terminal and then i'm going to use it uh, promise race.js with the node i'm running it and see this after 500 milliseconds, the reject is coming first. Why? Because reject is taking less amount of time here. But let's do one thing. Let's make it this guy is only 300. So obviously resolved promise is getting executed first in the race. This guy is winning the race. Then in that case, now I'm running it again. So now the result will be given to us. Perfect. So this is pretty simple that between tomorrow, if you have N number of promises, so which one is running first, it will be given back to you doesn't matter it got resolved or rejected it means it got fulfilled or rejected 
perfect so this is a pretty simple example with respect to promise dot ray so i hope this is a clear the difference between promise dot all promise dot all settled and the promise dot race also thank you so much